Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskies. Today I'm by Kleinlich, 22 year old, 1996 distilled, to be exact, on the 28th of June and bottled on the 27th of August 2018. This is a signatory vintage release together with www.vic.wi whic.de it's a online platform here in germany and this is actually one of 322 bottles and it's bottled at 46 percent this was a refill sherry butt now um let me just pour this in here as you see i have three glasses why do i have three glasses number one this is a partial cask this is cask number 6521, and if you go into Whiskey Base, um, for example, you type this in, you will see that the, the Whiskey Base number is 130957, and you'll see that this uh, says part, partial. Over here, I have a whiskey club in Germany, um, www.fassstark.de. Fass means cask, and stark means strength. So it's www.caststrength.germany in the German language. And they also, for their first anniversary, actually did half of the cask as well. So they had 235 um, bottles at cask strength, which was 53.4%. I've actually done a video about this. Um, and now what I want to also do is in the middle have the normal um, Kleinisch 14. Because I personally think... My personal preference is this is the best of all of them. Now, that's a um, shame for those that like independent bottlings, but I really, really like this bottle. Um, 119 euros for this. Uh, that translates into about $135. Over here, about 129 euros translates into about $150 because this was a club exclusive. All um, 235 bottles went to club members and nothing landed on the open market. Over here, this was just on the open market, 370, 322 bottles. And they basically said, hey, this is a little bit too strong, the cast strength version. Why don't we just dilute it? Why don't we just water it down to 46%? Good. Um, to be very honest, this is a painting in the background of, um, I know the guy that did this, David. This is a, this is a trilogy. There's going to be three um, bottles from Signatory from Vic, and they're all three together actually is his entire painting. What I think is a shame is the painting kind of gets covered up by all that on top of it, unfortunately. I would have only had made half of the painting and half of it the information. Oh, well, no one asked me, right? <laughs> All right, nosing. The same thing I get over here. I get a nice bourbon vanilla moment. I get a candied apple. I get a little bit of a, um, um, a peppermint as well as a grapefruit. So what I would like to do is I would like to actually try to translate on the fly the tasting notes here of um, the website so we know what we're going to expect. And then I will be able to try this. All right, it says on the nose, there's fruity sweet raisins. I don't know if you ever had Malaga wine. That's a red, um, it's a dark brown um, raisin wine. That's what I'm getting. So yes, dark cranberries, mm. plums, yes. Um, candied lemon peel. I've never had candied lemon peel. All right. Salty cream toffee, maybe. Old oak wood that's been polished with bean wax and orange oil. Mm. Um, and then some fine aromas at the end of very freshly baked bread. A little bit of anise. Um, you know, ouzo, that anise. And then uh, just a touch of peppermint, of mint in there. Great tasting notes, I must admit. It's a lot more than I got. Um, this is sweeter, a lot more, more alcohol in there. Okay, 43.4%, 46%. Slanche.
Mm -hmm. Wow. The intensity of the flavors at 46% compared to the 53% is just amazing. And the, the pepper, the hotness at the end is also surprisingly intense. So it starts off very, very soft and mild. And then there's that Ordoloso sherry moment. The vanilla is there. That orange peel is there. And um, then it just kicks in with a lot of pepper. Maybe a little bit of dark chocolate is involved there, as well as some oak notes. And then a little bit towards the end you have here, maybe a little muscat. Maybe a little bit of um, ginger spice. I like those nose much better than I do the taste. Over here, 53.4%. Pure, I'm going to just try it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> There's like a kick from a horse at the end. And that's the reason I didn't like it the first time. And then it, gets, it turns bitter. But the, 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 the intensities of the aromas and the flavors are just so much that it just turns, that, that oakiness turns to a bitter tannin. Over here, they calmed it down a little bit, but not really what it should or could be. Now, I'm going to be a little bit sacrilegious here, and I'm going to try to pull it down to 40%, see what happens there. Now, over here in Germany, not bottling this at cast strength was problem enough. 46%, non-chilled, filtered, and so on is the minimum of what whiskey nerds over here expect. Now, I personally am of the opinion that sometimes whiskeys are just plain old better at 40%. Not often, but sometimes. I'm thinking of some Bushmills, 16-year-old or 21-year-old and so on. Um, there's some that are very, very nice exactly there. The higher up you go, the more you create a little bit of, um, of a negative complexity. Let's just call it that. It doesn't happen often, maybe only 10, maybe 15% of the times. But I'm having, I have the feeling here that this Kleinlisch is not really the typical Kleinlisch that I know and love. Oh, yeah, it does remind me of something I know and love. The Game of Thrones edition, by the way. Oh, I might just have to pull that out in a second. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Got rid of the kick. Mm, great finish. Wow. Mm. But it was just too soft, too watery, too mild at the beginning. Yeah, looky here. You get bonus material that my German fans did not even get. This is the normal um, Kleinlich 14-year-old, which I'm going to get rid of. What I'm going to do is pull out the Game of Thrones version, which was um, bottled at 51.2%. Because I have the feeling that there's a similarity here. Um, let's see here. Now, I actually did the, um, a comparison between the two. I like the 14-year-old much, much better. Um, let's just put this over here so you can see that wonderful, interesting bottle. Um, hmm. Should have done this the entire time. So. Oh, yeah. Almost overlapping in flavors. Interesting, interesting. This is 22 years old, don't forget. This is 6, 8, 11, maybe, definitely not 14. Um, but the flavors are... Okay, this is a little bit more of a pepper. This is a little bit more of a leather, but they're within 85, 90% of each other. All right, once again, our 22-year-old Kleinlisch. There's that kick. Now over here to our Game of Thrones clanish. Mm. 
Mhm. Mhm. The same kick. Um, mm, mm. Um, it's very interesting. I often use music and compare things. This is singing alt and this is singing baritone. They're almost in harmony with each other, but this is a whole octave de deeper. So this is here, la, and this is here, la, and they're just going in exactly the same pattern the whole time. Wow, that was amazing. I really like that. Um, this over here, I was like $55, I think I paid for this, um, out of stock at the beginning. Coming back into stock, it's um, right now about the end of May, maybe the beginning of June over here in Europe, so that people that were selling it online by eBay for 200, 300 euros are going to be, the people that bought the bottles for 200, 300 euros are going to be kicking, kicking themselves in the butt for this. This is, as I said, a limited edition 322 bottle um, um, signatory vintage release here together with a German um, online retailer called WHIC.de Wick for 119. I paid 111 because it was the introductory price. I'm going to give it a three, a C plus. I'm going to go for a B minus B minus my my in my, my English film here. That that kick, that horse kick of the of the pepper at the end. I'm just going to ignore halfway. Value for money, I'm still going to give it a D plus. I don't think I've bought recently a 120 euro um, bottle of anything with 46% in it. Um, yes, it is 22 years old. Don't forget, but it doesn't taste like it. If I'm going, if I was going in blind, okay. Imagine I've never had this before. I'm going to go blind now. Hmm. Mm. 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 Oh, nice. Um, 46, 48% ABV. Closing my eyes because I'm blind. Um, age, mm, 12, no, older, 18, oh, no, not that old. 15 years old, 16 years old, maybe, yep. Um, region, Highland Park, Bayside, yeah, it's almost like an Abelur. There's a lot of, of sherry in there. So let's go for the Bayside region. I would never guess that this is Kleinlish, Kleinlish. I'm blind. Not at the moment. It's not, it's not that waxiness in there. It really isn't. Um, Diuin, I think, is um, very similar to this. Actually, that's what I would, Diuin um, from the flora and fauna is what I could imagine. Um, um price eh, 60 euros maybe max 80 euros but 60 would be the right price open my eyes look at it, it goes wow double the price almost double the age um got the abv about right it's just not giving everything i wanted here and what i expect from that type of whiskey maybe i'm not ready for it maybe it's not exactly what i think it was um yeah this is just exactly the same thing, just higher toned, higher pitch. Very, very nice. Good. As I said, maybe a B minus, minus, C plus plus, value for money, D plus plus. All right. You'll never see it anyway. Sorry. My question of the day is from Cleanlish. Uh, what is your favorite um, bottling so far? Either the standard bottling, the 14 year old, or any independence you've had? Now, if Malted Man Cave, Keith watches this video ever, you're going to have to say you're, what is it, you're 22, 24 year old from Signatory. Um, that would probably be your favorite. There's a couple others out there that are just fantastic. Uh, someone said, I think it was actually here, Roy, but Aquavita said that um, Cleanlish is becoming a investor's item. So be careful. Um, people are buying it not to drink it. People are apparently buying it to invest in it and sell it later to flip it. Um, Springbank is another thing people are doing that with, I guess, as well, let alone McAllen and all the rest. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for liking. Thank you very much for always suggesting other things. You can contact me at whiskeyjason at gmail.com. Otherwise, um, my videos come out on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. All the best. See you soon. Bye-bye.